Welcome back. This video will be all about the two recently announced government schemes which is PM Pranam and PM Bharatiya Janurvarak Pariyochana. Well, firstly PM Pranam. PM Pranam stands for Pradhan Mantri Promotion of Alternate Nutrients for Agriculture Management. The info regarding the schemes was announced but the scheme is not yet launched. And the motto of this scheme is mainly to reduce the usage of chemical fertilizers. Since fertilizers are provided in the subsidized rates, the usage and the demand of the chemical fertilizers has become really high. Hence, government has planned to launch this scheme also to bring down the subsidy burden. In the Union Budget 2021 to 2022, the fund allotted for the fertilizer subsidy is Rs 79,530 crores, but finally it reached Rs 1.62 lakh crores. Similarly, for the year 2022 to 2023, Rs 1.05 lakh crores was allotted, but it is expected to increase finally to Rs 2.25 lakh crores. Due to this rapid increase of almost 39% of chemical fertilizers usage compared from the year 2021 to 2022 to the year 2022 to 2023, sure there is a need to reduce the usage. So now coming to the fund for the particular scheme PM Pranam, there will be no separate fund for this. This scheme will be financed through the savings from the fertilizer subsidy which is already present. For example, if the usage of the chemical fertilizers is reduced by the particular state, then the amount of the fund of the subsidy savings will be used as follows. 50% of these savings will be given as grant to the state. From this 50%, States can use 70% for asset creation related to technological adoption of alternate fertilizers production units at the village, block and district levels and the remaining 30% from the 50% savings given can be used for rewarding and encouraging the farmers, farmers producer organizations and self-help groups and panchayats that are involved in the reduction of fertilizer use and awareness generation. Now coming to the scheme Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Janurvarak Pariyochana. This scheme is mainly to brand the fertilizer subsidy program as PM scheme. Here you will get a question why should the fertilizer should be branded under PM scheme even it is manufactured by the other companies of the country. Actually the fertilizers will be sold to the farmers through subsidized rates by the fertilizer production companies. The fertilizers, those which are imported and manufactured by the production companies will have the particular price fixed. But for this price, the fertilizers will not be sold to the farmers because of the high prices. In this case, government will pay the subsidized amount to the production companies and hence production companies will sell the fertilizers in the subsidized cost to the farmers. So this is why government is planning to brand the fertilizers under the PM scheme. So under this scheme, we can achieve the tag as one nation, one fertilizer. So regarding branding, the fertilizers will be branded with the names Pradhan Mantri and Bharat. For example, Urea as Bharat Urea, DAP as Bharat DAP, etc. So in the branded fertilizers bags, two-third area of the top half of the fertilizers bag will be used for branding as PM scheme. And the exact time for the old packaging bags will be 31st December. That is, within 31st December, the old packaging bag should be closed off. And that's all for today. Hope you like this video. Do subscribe to my channel if you're watching for the first time. And don't forget to hit the bell icon too. You can also join to our Telegram channel. I'll keep the link of the channel in description. You can go check it out there. In Telegram, you will have live quiz thrice a week at 8.30 p.m. And through Telegram, you can also access to SOA4 test series. Thank you.